Hello and welcome back to KDP A to Z. Today I'm going to set myself a challenge. In just one hour I'm going to see if I can make 10 good quality notebooks. Now notebooks are in fact free to publish. There was a point last year where Amazon decided to stop giving these free ISBN numbers which you needed to publish your books. But they are allowing you to still publish these without the ISBN and it's even saying here low content books do not require an ISBN anymore. The only thing you won't be allowed to do is the look inside feature, which you can easily get around by making some good A plus content. So with this opportunity in mind, let's see how quickly we can make 10 good quality notebooks and self publish them to start making some sales. So I'm going to take you through all the steps from start to finish. Now, if this is the kind of thing that interests you, then this is what I do. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know whenever I've published new content. First, let's take a quick look at the opportunity. Now, looking at Publisher Rocket for Notebook, you can see that it's searched for a lot. These are really healthy results, but it is really competitive. Look at this. Every keyword has more than a thousand competitors. There's a couple that are a bit odd. So looking at this one, Notebook Barbie 6x9, for some reason, that is searched for 6,059 times, I imagine because of the recent Barbie movie. Having a look at this, you obviously can't publish Barbie things because it is trademarked, but someone has taken opportunity to make some books out of this recently. This one, Pearl Press, it's 19 days old. It's not particularly making any sales though, so I'm not quite sure about that little keyword anomaly there. But for the most part, there are more than a thousand competitors for all of these notebook keywords. But looking at the average monthly earnings, the opportunity is massive. So look at these two, this composition notebook here and this rainbowy one, both published about a month ago and already making thousands of dollars. So this one here is making great use of A plus content. It's always recommended. And you can see it was independently published. Let's have a look at the rainbowy one. Again, good A plus content there and independently published. So there is some opportunity here for notebooks. Now these are both composition notebooks. So that means they've got like the lines in them and the line down the side here. So I think that's the kind of book I'm gonna go with. Now using the technique I showed you a couple of weeks ago where you can find high search and low competition keywords for free, I've asked ChatGPT to produce some keywords based on composition notebooks and it's come up with some good results. So I might use some of these ideas in searching for backgrounds for my front cover. So we've got like marble here, floral designs, these not, aren't too competitive and might be good front covers for me. Okay, so with all this information, let's have a look at the time and see how many I can make in one hour. So the time is 12.40 on the 19th of August. First of all, I'm going to go on to Creative Fabrica. Now, if you don't have this, I would thoroughly recommend it. It's well worth the cost because you can get so much on here. I'll leave a link in the description and if you use that, you should be able to get a discount. So first of all, I need the interior. So I'm going to search for composition notebook. I'm going to select KDP interiors in the category and I want it with a print on demand license. So that means I can just copy the whole thing. So there's a few on here. This looks like a good one it's saying it's wide ruled. I do want a wide one. Let's have a little look at some others on here. So I'm going to select this one because I want it to be 7.5 by 9.25 and it is saying it's wide ruled. It's saying it will be available in a PDF format, which is what I want to upload in. So I'm going to download that. Now the next thing that I need is a label to put on the front of this. So I'm just searching for composition notebook label. I'm gonna turn off KDP interiors there, but I still want it to be print on demand. Now looking back on here, these labels on the front are detailing how many pages it is, that it is wide ruled and the size. And I think that's important because that means you'll be able to put that information into the subtitle. Now, keywords will rank highest if they are in the title or subtitle. So ideally on Creative Fabrica, I want to be able to find a label that has that sort of detail on it. Now, looking at this one here, this does say it's nine and a half inches by seven and a half inches. And it says it's 100 sheets, 
It doesn't say though that it's wide ruled. Let's see if there's any others. Okay, just having a little look through, I'm not seeing any that have that sort of information on it. So I'm gonna create my own. So I'm gonna find some nice looking shapes. This one looks quite nice. And this one's got three lines on it, which will allow me to put that sort of information and there's a bit of space there. That's the one I'm going to use, I think. So I'm gonna download this one. Now I'm just going to have a little look at the detail of the composition book that I've downloaded and it's saying it's 110 pages, which actually means 110 sides. So what I need to do now is work out the size of the front cover that I'm going to need. So we're going to go on to our Amazon KDP account and I'm going to go on to tools and resources. And I'm going to type in here cover calculator and let's search that. Now, Amazon is notoriously terrible with these help topics, but basically if you search cover calculator, create a paperback cover, and then further down the page here, you've got cover calculator and template generator. That's the one that you want. So we're gonna select our binding type, which will be paperback. Our interior will be black and white. Our paper type will be white paper, and the turn direction is always left to right. Now the size we're going to do in inches and we're going to do it 7.5 by 9.25 and the number of sides that we want is 110 and that's going to calculate our dimensions of the book for us. So you can see here it's got the size in inches for the full cover. So the width and the height, those are the dimensions that you're going to want to put in. But let's also download the template. Now we're going to go over to Canva and I'm going to create a design of custom size. So the dimensions that I wanted were 15.498 by 9.5 inches. So I'm going to put those two dimensions into Canva and I'm going to create a new design. Okay, so that looks about the right sort of size. Now I'm just going to upload the template that I've made. So I've saved that in my pictures somewhere. And I'm going to add this to the page and I'm just going to fit it to the page. So just checking the details, it is a black and white book, 110 pages, just making sure that I've got the right one, 7.5 by 9.25 book. So this will be your front cover here. This will be your back cover. There won't be a barcode on there. And I want to copy what they've done with this design here. So you can see it's got a nice edge down the middle. I think that's important to put in there. So I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to put a shape in here. I'm going to fit that to this so that it roughly covers the middle. Now, if you want to align that, you can just select position and center it. So I know now that that is right bang in the middle of my book. Don't worry about the color too much at the moment. Now, the next thing I want to do is have a little look at the labels that I've just downloaded. I need to just find it. Okay, it was this one, so number 400. So I really want the PNG file for this because that will take out the background. So I'm going to go back onto Canva and I'm just going to upload that. Okay, so I've uploaded that label and I'm just gonna put that into the center of this. So that looks about right to me. Looking back on here though, it is a little bit smaller. So I'm just gonna resize that again. Okay, that's good. So that looks nice. And that's going to be kind of my layout. So I can now delete this back section because I don't need that anymore. So this is going to be the basic setup of my book. And you can see that that actually is needing a little bit more centralization there. That looks better. So now I'm going to put those details of what the size and so on is. So that way I'm just going to add a text. Very similar to what they've done on this book here, 100 pages, well mine is actually 110, wide ruled and 7.5 by 9.25. So that's the details I'm going to put in this cover. I'm including those details. I want that to be black in color, so I'm just gonna select text color and go with black. Okay, I want it to be a little bit bigger and I'm just gonna move that onto here. Now that looks good to me. So now I'm gonna go back onto Creative Fabric and I'm gonna find some nice wallpapers that will go as a background for this book. So I'm just gonna search in here, wallpaper. 
let's go with a marble design remember we need it to have a print on demand license that's important and now we just have to find some patterns that we like so some of these look nice packs sort of a goldy design let's download that one so you can literally download any wallpapers that you want from here i'm going to now look for maybe a floral wallpaper so some of these are quite nice the other thing that you can do is you can search for bundles so this one here has got 100 shabby chic designs they're quite nice they look great let's download that okay let's find another one let's go for let's try out a glitter bundle so look at this this looks incredibly similar to the design that's doing really well on amazon look at that it's probably one of these designs that they've actually used as this their background so i'm not going to copy theirs let's go for something a bit different oh i don't know why but i really like this one this is my kind of book i'm gonna download that one okay so i've downloaded quite a few designs now i'm just going to go on to my downloads so looking here some of my downloads are taking a little while to come down um, because they are big files so i'm just going to start off with the wacky snow leopard pattern so going back to our composition notebook on canva i'm going to upload those wacky designs so i'm just going to select all of those i'm going to upload all of those so let's start off with this one let's size it to the size of our page maybe a little bit bigger and don't worry that that's covering all of that what we do is we layer it and we send to back okay so now you can see that, that is all behind this information here and that is ready to go so we're going to change this color of this central part so we're just going to select it and select color and then we're going to pick one of the colors from the book so something that will contrast quite like the blue so you select something from the photo colors so i quite like that blue color and then all you need to do now is you share it and you download it as a pdf now normally i would download this as a cmyk which is better for professional printing rgb is better for digital use but unfortunately we can't do that because that is paid service on canva it might be worth getting canva pro for for that opportunity but i'm just going to download it as rgb now i'm going to go on to chat gpt and i'm going to ask it to make me a description so I've just asked ChatGPT to create me a good description for the detail section on Amazon for a composition wide ruled notebook that is 100 pages long. And it's come up with a pretty good result. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. So it's saying introducing the composition wide ruled notebook, a versatile companion for all your writing needs. So I'm going to actually steal all of that, which is great. And now I'm going to go on to my own publishing site on Kindle Direct Publishing and I'm going to create a book. So it's going to be a paperback book. It's going to be in English. I'm going to call it, I'm going to fill in all the details on the subtitle. I'm going to call it Composition Notebook, Wacky Cow Print, Aesthetic, 110 pages, wide ruled. And now I'm going to just copy that description that I made in ChatGPT into here. So it's actually 110 pages. So now we're going to say it, we own the copyrights. There is not sexually explicit images on there. I'm going to make it as co.uk because I'm in the UK. It is a low content book. I'm going to choose the categories. I'm just going to put some school books in there. I'm not going to worry too much about what the categories are. Then I need to put in some keywords. We can put in as many keywords as we want, but I need to try and get these 10 done within an hour. And then we've got to publish it without an ISBN. You have to select the kind of print options that you want. So it's going to be black and white interior with white paper. And the trim size is going to be, select a different size, it's going to be 7.25 by 9.25. So it's going to be that one. Now bleed settings going to have to have this as with bleed because these lines are extending to the edge of the page so we'll select it with bleed 
and it's going to be in matte. Now we've just got to upload the paperback manuscript. So we're just uploading that one and we upload a cover of our own that we've just downloaded. Okay, now we can launch the previewer. Doesn't matter, don't worry about that. And just while I'm doing that, I'm going to go back onto Canva because this takes a long time and I'm going to upload some of the other pictures that have downloaded. Okay, so now I'm just going to take some of these pictures and I'm just going to delete this image here. And instead, I'm just going to change that to this one. Again, I'm going to spread it the whole way across and I'm going to send it to the back. Now I'm going to change this central part again. I'm just going to do that a sort of gray color. And now I'm going to download that again as a PDF. So while those are downloading, I'm just going to go back and have a little look at my launch previewer. So that's showing it's going to look like this. It's uploaded all the pages internally. None of it looks wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and approve that one. So now it's saying what my printing cost is going to be, £2.17 per book. So let's save and continue that. So the minimum price that we have to put it for on the Amazon Co.uk marketplace is £3.62. So I'm just going to do this for £4.99. So that's saying for every book that I make or sell, I would make a royalty of 82 pence, which is okay for something that's taken me a few minutes to make. And then it's obviously adjusted all the prices here. You can't put low content books in expanded distribution. Um, there are some rules against that one. So we can't select that box. But I'm happy with all that. Let's publish it. So that's what it's going to look like in the little thumbnail there. So now I need to create another nine. Okay, so we're coming up to the end of the hour and realistically, I haven't managed to do the 10 notebooks in an hour, but I do hope I have showed you how easy it is and how much quicker it's going to be now that I have done this. All you need to do is set out your layouts like I have here and add a different background on each time. So we're just going to keep deleting this old background and just put another wallpaper in. We send it to the back and we're just going to change the color of this shape each time. So this way I can create thousands of different composition books, all with the same content, just different covers, putting in different information onto Amazon when I'm publishing it. I could create as many different covers for this book as I like. So checking in with the time, we're at 13.36 now, we're about an hour in. I have run out of time on this video. The only thing that has probably held me up is the amount of time it took to download and upload the files. I really hope you found this video useful. If you have, do hit the like button and do remember to subscribe to my channel so that you can get my next video as soon as it's available. I'm going to leave the link for Creative Fabrica in the description. I really would recommend using it. It's got so much on there and it will allow you to do things like this and hopefully make you a good passive income as well. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.